Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Marketing Director here at Quiltworks. In this video, we're going to walk you through how to install and set up your Quiltworks installation for the first time. Before we begin, there's a few important notes we want to mention. First, ensure you have admin rights to install programs on your Windows workstation. Also, if you have not yet downloaded Quiltworks, go to our website and click on the Start Free Trial button, fill in the contact information, click Get Started, and that'll bring you to the download page so you can download the trial of Quiltworks. And finally, the following steps in this video are specific for installing a new installation for Quiltworks, not for updating. If you need instructions or assistance for updating an existing installation, please watch the Installing Quiltworks update video instead. Okay, so let's get started. So once the Quiltworks installation file has been downloaded and you're ready to install it, go ahead and navigate to where it's been downloaded to and double click on it to initialize the installation. You will see a welcome screen. Simply click next on each of these next steps to continue the installation process. On the license agreement step, choose to accept the agreement after you have read the agreement, or if you do not agree with it, simply choose I do not accept and you can cancel out of the installation. To install the software, you will need to accept the agreement. On the next step, you'll be prompted to select whether you'd like to perform a new installation of Quiltworks or update an existing installation. You want to select perform new installation of Quiltworks and click next. The Choose Destination Location window will open next. This is where you're going to choose to install or where you would like to install Quiltworks. You have a couple of options. For this example, you essentially have two options of installing it locally on your workstation, or you can install it on your server. To install it in a different location than the default destination folder, simply click on the Browse button and then browse through your installation through your network to choose where you would like to install this specific installation. For our example, we're going to install it locally on this machine. If you want to install Quiltworks on your server, simply click on Browse and browse to where you would like to install your installation of Quiltworks. And then click Next to continue. The next window will ask you if you want to install default templates and default sample data for your product database. This will include print layouts, reports, cover pages, spec sheets, literature, and sample product images. Go ahead and make sure these options are selected. Specifically, if this is your first time working with Quiltworks, we recommend you leaving these options checked as this will give you a feel for the products. This will also provide you those sample layouts, which are fully customizable, but provide you with a great starting point for designing your customer-facing documents. The sample product database contains a list of AV items. These are simply example items that you can use in your installation if you don't have a price list to import immediately. If you do have a price list, we have a video called Getting Started with Quiltworks that includes instructions for importing an item or price list. And then simply click Next to continue and Next to start the installation process. The main installation has now been completed and the next step is to begin the node setup on your workstation. Click next to continue the installation. The next window will ask you if you want to back up your replace files. Since we are installing new, we can just leave the default setting of yes and click next to move forward. The select optional components window will prompt you to select which one of the CRM or PSA systems you might want to integrate with. If you are utilizing MS CRM or MS Dynamics, Sugar CRM, Act for Web, ConnectWise, Autotask, or Maximizer CRM Live, you will need to check the integration checkbox next to it to install that integration piece. If you are not integrating with any of these systems, you can simply leave them unchecked as it is not required or even necessary to install these particular add-ons. Once you have selected or deselected your options, simply click Next to move forward with the next step. On the next window, you'll be prompted to choose who you would like to create a Quiltworks shortcut for in their menu. For our example, I'm going to go ahead and choose all users on this machine and also check the checkbox for create shortcut on desktop. And then we'll click next. And this will begin the installation of the node on our particular workstation. 
Once completed, you'll receive a installation complete notification that the installation was successful and simply click on finish to finish the installation. Now that Quiltworks has been installed on this workstation, we can double click on the shortcut that has been added to our desktop to open up the installation. This will prompt us to enter in a license key or continue in demo mode. If you already have a license key for your demo or for your installation, simply choose enter license key and enter in your update key followed by the license key information. If you are still trialing Quiltworks, you can simply click out of there and it will open up the demo so you can begin and setting up your installation. You'll need to follow the setup wizard by selecting your country, default tax rate, the contact manager that you'd want to integrate with, your accounting integration if applicable and your purchase order integration if applicable, and then your company, name, email, address, city, state, phone number information. Once you filled in the information, simply click Finish. And that will open and launch Quiltworks for you. Now, if you have installed Quiltworks on your server and you'd like to set up other workstations to access Quiltworks while you're trialing it or for your new installation, you'll simply need to navigate on the server to where you have Quiltworks installed. And in the Quiltworks directory, look for an executable file called nsetup.exe. Simply double click on this executable and that will run the node installation for this current workstation. Simply need to repeat this step for each workstation on your network that you would like to give access to Quiltworks. It is important to note that all users will need full control rights to the Quiltworks directory folder in order for the node installation to install correctly and for Quiltworks to run. These full control rights include read, write, and modify permissions. And that's it. You've now installed Quiltworks on your installation or your server and are ready to go and start using the software. If you encounter any issues or have any trouble installing Quiltworks, please feel free to contact our technical support at 407-248-1481, extension 3, or send an email to support at Quiltworks.com. There's additional information and instructions in the Quiltworks help file as well. Thanks for watching.